Shorebirds have great appeal. They're powerful flyers and undertake some truly epic migrations. They show a wide range of sizes, shapes, colors, and other physical and behavioral adaptations to their environments. But shorebirds can also appear to be a confusing, undifferentiated mass. Pinning down their identification can seem as elusive as finding the fabled snipe. The real Wilson snipe, it turns out, is not all that elusive once you know where and how to look. And shorebird identification can be fun, at times even easy. Many shorebirds are large or otherwise distinctive. Getting to know them is a good way to begin looking at this sometimes intimidating group. So in this podcast, that's exactly what we'll do. There's no problem recognizing the rare northern jacana, with its unusual coloration and unbelievably long toes, if you're lucky enough to see one. The only difficulty is deciding how to pronounce its name, jacana, jasana, or some other variation. The American woodcock is a shorebird that lives in the woods rather than by the shore. It's wonderfully camouflaged against a leafy forest floor. Males perform a nocturnal courtship display that is equal parts amazing and amusing. The ritual begins with a series of buzzy keent calls given from the ground. The woodcock then launches into the night sky, specialized feathers in his wings making a twittering sound. Reaching the apex of his flight, he begins a liquid chirping and spirals back to earth, finally resuming his peints on the ground. Phalaropes are an unusual group of shorebirds with unique lobed toes. They're at home swimming or wading. Two species, the red and red-necked, are often found far at sea. When feeding in deeper water, phalaropes frequently spin like tops, rapidly dabbling at the vortex they create for food items like plankton, brine shrimp, or mosquito larvae. Phalaropes reverse a common division of labor found in shorebirds. In breeding plumage, females are more brightly and boldly colored than males. Moreover, females are polyandrous, mating with a number of males, laying eggs, then departing the breeding grounds. The males are left alone to incubate the eggs and care for the young. Many shorebirds show some curvature to their bills, and this is always an important feature to note. A number of large shorebirds have especially impressive curved bills that make them easy to recognize. The hefty curlews really grab your eye with their long sickle bills, while the godwits have unusual upturned or recurved bills. Also recurved, but in a slimmer, more refined way, is the bill of the handsome American avocet. The bills of oyster catchers are straight, with a stout, bladed shape appropriate for their function of prying open mollusks. The willet is a large shorebird that seems somewhat generic until it opens its wings and or its mouth. The bold black and white pattern and loud repetitive cries are hard to miss. (coughs) Challenging the willet for the title of most talkative shorebird is the killdeer, a well-known plover which has two neck bands where our other plovers have one or none. Its oft-repeated calls are commemorated in both its common name and its scientific name, Charadrius vociferus. As you can see and hear, many shorebirds are fairly easy to recognize, but others can be a little confusing. In our next podcast, we'll look at a few simple strategies for sorting out some of the more challenging ones.